Hi everyone and welcome back to this course where we learn Fusion 360 together. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to design a scroll and a nut that looks like this using the thread and the whole tools in Fusion 360. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to start a new file and then add a sketch. I will use the uh, bottom surface here. And the first one, I'm gonna start with a polygon and we need two of those. So I'm gonna put one over here. Uh, I'm just gonna do 15. Obviously you can choose different size. Um, I'm always just kind of showing you how things works and you can adjust the size and make it fit your needs. Let's do another one. Um, also uh, 15 so one is going to be for the nut the other one for the screw uh, the actual screw itself need a circle in the middle uh, let's just do 15 also for the circle now I'm going to click finish sketch and here we will uh, extrude first we will extrude this and let's just go up by 15. Um, I need to uh, reshow my sketch and then over here I'm going to extrude the inner circle which is going to represent the height of the screw here. Let's just go up by 50. And now one last uh, extrude for this outer to make the head of the screw. I'm just gonna do 10 and that looks good. You can see it start to take shape already. I'm going to hide the sketch so things looks cleaner. Um, next, we need to click modify and we're gonna use the chamfer tool to just chamfer this edge a little bit. Otherwise, you will have a very flat uh, end of the screw, which makes it harder to work with. So we're gonna choose this edge you know what? Let me zoom in so you can see. I'm going to choose this edge. I'm going to chamfer in four by one. Uh, obviously, you can change the distance. So if you want two, you can do two or you can do one and a half. Um, let's do one and a half. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just showing you how it works. And then you can adjust this to your own measurement. Once again, this course is for beginners. So I'm trying to choose the most simple way to do things and then uh, obviously, you can spend more time to make them look better and more beautiful. Let's go ahead and apply the thread. Uh, I do not want the video to get too long, so I'm going to choose the thread tool to apply it to this cylinder uh, face. So I'm going to click here. And as you can see, I have some options. First, we need to choose this modeled if we want to make this thread real thread. Especially if you are planning to 3D print this, you have to select this modeled option. Now, the second option is the full length, which means do you want the thread to be applied to the entire thing, as you can see here, or if I uncheck it, you can see it is going to apply at a certain distance, and we can adjust that from here. So maybe you want it halfway, or you have a specific distance in mind, you can apply that. Uh, the rest here is the thread type, the size, which is here taking the cylinder size. And I'm going to leave this as the default. The thread type, I'm not very familiar, honestly, but you can make a different selection and you can see the thread change. I'm going to leave this one too as the default. Uh, here is the class. The class is just the tightness of the thread. And I'm leaving this one as 6G for now. Um, I'm going to click OK, and you can always come back and modify this because, you know, Fusion 360 down here at the, at, the, at the bottom, you can see if I double click this thread, it takes me back to the same menu and I can make the adjustment needed if I want to. I'm going to click cancel for now. And now we will use the other method to make the thread on the nut over here. So you can see here my, my screw is kind of done. Now let me zoom in on this one, and I'm going to use the hole method here. So I'm going to click hole, then I will make my hole over here. 
you can see I get this hole. I need to make sure it's in the center. You see this dot? So if I drag this to the dot, it will snap on it, and that will be the center of the nut. Also, I get this menu where I can make the selections. Same here, I need to make sure modeled is selected because if it's not selected, it's just gonna show me how the thread looks like, but it's not an actual thread, especially if you wanna 3D print this until you select this model. Uh, here, you can make a regular hole or you can make a taped type, which will make it a thread. And then here, you have the thread offset, which you can choose full or offset. So these are the selection, the size, obviously we wanna match our cylinder. So this is 10, I'm gonna make it 15 over here. That will match my cylinder thread. So don't forget if you wanna screw these together. Also, depending on your printer tolerance, you might need to apply some additional offset to the thread. It, it might not mean, be needed because if Fusion already, if you are selecting the same sizes and the same type, Fusion automatically have this baked in, but you might need an additional offset. Again, this depending on your printer, what type of printer, what's the nozzle size that you're using. So um, I'm actually 3D printing one right now, which I might end up using for the thumbnail, and I'm trying to dial in the proper offset level for my own printer. So this is the selections I am making here, and you can play with this as well. I'm gonna click OK. And now let me just kind of zoom in a little bit so you can see what we have. I am going to turn this over here. And let me just zoom in again. And as you can see, this is the final result. I've seen some people where they do like the uh, smooth out the edges, or you can, uh, you know, make this look a little bit nicer. Uh, once again, this course is for beginners in the, for the most part. I am myself, I am very beginner with Fusion. I think this will work as like a basic model and you can probably work on this to uh, work on like trimming the edges or make it smoother, make it nicer. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how to use the thread tool and how to use the hole and make a thread using that. Uh, this is it for this one. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.